Hello, I'm at daycare, but not for long. I'm getting out of here, if I can. Nope. Because the only good things about this daycare are my rainbow pajamas and my bunny slippers. Everything else can only be described as a never-ending series of horrors. Hello. Like why you passed out on the floor like that, my pal? You okay? Did something happen? Was it baby Toby? Now, if you've never been to this daycare before, you might not be familiar with baby Toby, but believe you me, he will be making himself known shortly. Baby Toby is not exactly shy, definitely wouldn't describe him as like a shrinking violet. If anything, he likes to make his presence known. So I'm sure you'll either hear him or smell him soon. Me though, I won't be waiting around because I already know that baby Toby is not silent, but he is deadly. If you know what I mean, give this video a thumbs up. I think that some of you probably know what I mean and the rest of you are about to find out. Introducing the one, the only, the terrible. That's right, everybody, it's him, baby Toby. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is that a gas-powered segue? Why, well, yes, yes it is. And that's what baby Toby uses to patrol the daycare. I'm going to go ahead and guess that it has suddenly become a lot more clear to you why I am so desperate to escape this daycare center. I mean, for starters, nap times, you can forget about sleeping. Yeah, he pretty much does that all day long. And then he runs over you with his wheels. So now you understand the stakes in this situation. I'm getting no sleep. The whole place smells like a diaper caddy. I can't go anywhere in this place without a giant baby on a Segway trying to chase me down like some fake security guard. It's weird. It's really weird in here. I don't know if it's quite as bad as Mr. Smiley's daycare. We should probably put it to a vote. Uh-oh. Is that Toby? He made his own little, like, daycare employee of the month poster, drew himself. But yeah, I want to know what you think is worse. Baby Toby's daycare or Mr. Smiley's daycare? Let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't seen my Mr. Smiley's daycare video, then maybe you want to subscribe to my channel because it kind of sounds like you're missing out. Personally, I think I would have a pretty hard time trying to decide which daycare is worse. One thing is for certain, it is very difficult to find quality childcare in Roblox world. Like, you take your kids to daycare, you trust that they are going to be looked after properly, and then it turns out that they're being supervised by a giant flatulent baby. Like, I get home and I smell like a gymnastics mat. Oh my gosh, the horrors. Ah, baby Toby. That's really creepy. Literally, what are you doing there? What business have you, baby? All right, if you could just stay trapped under the floor for the next couple of minutes, that would actually be incredible. Me? I'll be escaping. Do we think this is the way out? It kind of looks like the air conditioning unit or something. And oh my gosh, I am being flung down the hallway like a piece of lint. Wow, okay, I kind of thought that laser was going to take me off of the ankles, but surprisingly, I am unscathed. Just need to keep making my way through this series of eerily similar playrooms. Yes, they are a little bit different, but there's something that ties them together. And also, why are there so many sharp drops? It's very dangerous. A child could easily hurt themselves or... <laughs> Okay, so strong opinions coming from the Pit of Doom. I don't know how that teddy actually ended up in the Pit of Doom, but they don't seem very happy about it, and they're really strongly encouraging us to get out of here as quickly as possible, so I'm actually gonna take that pretty seriously. Honestly, though, I am a little bit worried about seeing the look on my mom's face when I arrive at home yet again. She's like, I dropped you off at daycare, a new daycare, and yet here you are again. I'm like, sorry, these daycares are all garbage. <laughs> You heard the teddy with his bottom being burnt up by lava? We have to run! This is no place for children, even if they do have really, really cute pajama sets. Oh no, my pajama set's gonna burn! Yes, burning. We're burning. So the name of the game really is to run without ending up burning. And that's where things can get a little bit tricky. I think it's been like two whole minutes since we saw baby Toby. Is it possible that baby Toby's reign of terror could be over? Maybe I could take over. Maybe the kids could run the daycare ourselves. A daycare co-op, kids looking after kids. It could be genius. Is it genius? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, no adults to tell me I can't slide on my face. I'm sanding my whole face. Wow. Okay, maybe this would not happen with adult supervision. All right, it's changed my mind. Maybe we do need some adults around at the daycare center, but I think they need to rethink the role of baby Toby. There's just no need to put a baby on a Segway and give him so much power. 
I think if there's one thing we can all agree on in this crazy world is that babies should not be on segways with unchecked authority. I mean, we all know that they will abuse that authority to get the biggest glass of juice, to decide who's going to be it during a game of hide and seek. They will monopolize the entire supply of goldfish crackers. And I guess that's why we just cannot allow baby Toby's power to remain unchecked. Also, baby Toby was just like all too ready to like take on that power and authority. And I kind of feel like if you really want to be in charge, maybe you shouldn't be in charge, but <gasps> oh look, ah! look at his bacon and me in our matching pajamas. They look so cute. Huge points for the PJs. <gasps> oh no, oh, oh no, my PJs. I guess what I'm saying is the PJs are a sleigh. The slippers are a sleigh. Baby Toby, swerve. I'm starting to wonder how big this daycare center really is. Through another vent and, I don't know, hopefully we'll finally get to the outside. There's surely gonna be like a playground or, I don't know, street, something we gotta get through. Oh no, there he is! Do you think he sees me? How am I supposed to get past him? That is a big baby. Oh no, my bacon friend, watch out! You're almost there, you can do it! Oh, I think they made it and, oh no, now he's seeing me. He's so dangerous, I don't wanna get caught under those wheels! <gasps> he got me. All right, we're doing it. It's a straight shot to the door. Ignore the noxious gas. Ignore the terrifying baby. And exit. Oh my gosh, we're outside. I'm coming, mom. You're gonna be so annoyed to see me. Just gotta crest this hill and ruin my mom's day. Wow, is that my house? It is architectural. Not me swimming to my front door. This is so bougie. This daycare is like a prison. A prison, I'm telling you. And this teddy bear is looking mighty suspicious to me. Do you see something red inside his eye? What is that? Personally, I'm worried we might have a bit of a hidden camera situation happening here, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh, what time is it? Time to break out of baby jail. Got it. Time to turn off the emergency power. Powering down. I don't think that shut off the power in the teddy bear which is creepy, but on the upside, the lasers have disappeared. So that means I'm one step closer to freedom. Unfortunately, it also means that I have to find baby Bobby. I'm not the only one who got dropped off at daycare prison this morning. My cousin, baby Bobby is somewhere here too. And if I go home without him, my aunt will be so mad. Wait, do you hear that? That sounds like baby Bobby right now. Baby Bobby, where are you? Okay, you are down there. Baby Bobby's all by himself and he's crying and nobody's coming. This feels neglectful. I have had it up to here with this daycare and their laser bars and their security teddies and their and their ignoring of crying babies. It's disgraceful. And oh my gosh, that's baby Bobby. And he's huge for some reason. Oh my gosh, what did this daycare do to my cousin? Who turns a tiny baby into a giant? I think that this daycare is being run by hooligans. Irresponsible hooligans. I gotta rescue my cousin, baby Bobby, shrink him back down to a normal baby size, and then go tell my mom and my auntie what is going on in this place. If you think that's a good idea, help me come up with a name for this mission. I think it could be Operation Rescue Bob, or alternatively, Operation Save Yourself. If you have a good mission name, just pop it in the comment section. Meanwhile, I'll be pressing this big red button. Ooh, oh, okay, cool. That makes my escape a lot easier. Weird thing about baby Bobby, he actually loves this daycare. Unlike me, who just plummets into the void. But yeah, even though this daycare is like quite obviously a trash heap that's run by garbage people, baby Bobby just kind of loves it. And I'm a bit worried about, oh, okay, there's someone in a cage, someone in the cage. Yeah, I'm worried about what baby Bobby's gonna say when I tell him that we are leaving this daycare and never coming back. Because yeah, I don't know why, but he seems to really like it. And if there's one important thing to know about baby Bobby is that he has a bit of a temper. Oops, I missed my jump there. <laughs> so when I tell baby Bobby that we are leaving this daycare and never coming back, I'm kind of worried that he might throw a tantrum or or worse, I don't know. I, I don't want to make I don't want to make wild predictions here, but I just have this feeling that he's not going to be happy with me. But I'm the big kid here and I'm making a decision. I'm first time falling into the void. The lack of supervision in this daycare is just shocking. And also, why do we have a cannon for the children? Obviously, it's gonna be really fun to shoot myself out of a cannon. Whee! Oh my gosh, so efficient. <gasps> okay, that looks like baby Bobby up there in the ceiling. That just doesn't seem like a place for a baby. Is that a spot for a baby? I'm sure some of you have baby siblings. Maybe you know better than I do. Like, do you think that it is responsible to turn a baby into a giant? And how often do you find your baby siblings in the ceiling? 
These are the pressing questions I come to you with today. Oh my gosh, that's really scary. That is really, really scary. Okay, I I hate this daycare. I hate this place. I, I don't know what else I'll find in these brains. Oh, shh. Baby Bobby is sleeping. Does that mean he's been shrunken back down to the size of a normal baby? That looks like a normal baby, I think. That doesn't sound like a normal baby. Do babies usually snore that much or... Okay, that was wind. He snores like a truck. And he's just propelled himself into a standing position with his fart. I'm so sorry to wake you when you're sleeping, baby Bobby. I know you hate it when people do that, but we have to leave the daycare, okay? Okay, you know, he didn't like that. It's okay, Bobby, just stay calm. Oh, he's not calm. All right, well, that did not go as well as I was hoping. Seems as though baby Bobby is reluctant to leave the daycare. Wonder if he'll wake up. And oh, yeah, no, he's awake. <laughs> I heard his awful wind. You, you gotta run. You gotta, he's very angry. I'm so sorry, he's my cousin. Just come with me. No, 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 just don't go near him. He'll he'll hit you with that, he'll hit you with that baby toy. It's, it's not good, he's got a mean swinging arm. Yeah, I know, it's really weird. He's a baby, actually, even though currently he looks about the height of a grown man, but you should have seen him earlier. He was like the size of like a four-story building. That's actually just one of my concerns about what's going on in this daycare. I just feel like if you drop off a baby at daycare, when you get back, it should be roughly the same size. Like, honestly, look at baby Bobby. He's like the size of a Volvo. We just need to figure out a way to placate him so he doesn't smack us around the head with his baby toys. And then hopefully we can get him safely home. Maybe into the vent for now. Okay, yeah, he's, he's very sad. He's crying. How am I supposed to calm him down and get him out of here? And why am I falling through space towards Bobby's head? This is weird. That looks like an epiglottis. And I'm falling down the esophagus. Possibly the trachea. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. So now they've made baby Bobby so big that he can accidentally ingest his big cousin? That is so irresponsible. Bit of an insight into what he's been eating, though. Lots and lots of Lego bricks. Wait, how did you even die? This game is so easy. I'm sorry, did I ask to be bullied by the game? I feel like the developer's having a laugh. Like, sure, the game is mostly easy, but also sometimes you just fall in green sludge. That's the way that life works. Does anyone else think that it's mighty suspicious that there are teddy bears down here that look exactly like the teddy bear in my daycare room? The one that looked like it had the secret camera in it? Maybe baby Bobby also realized that those teddy bears were super suspicious. And maybe he was like, yeah, I got a solution. I'm gonna eat them. Like, let's be real. Maybe not like the best idea to actually eat entire giant teddy bears, but also innovative decision making. Thinking outside of the box, a creative king. We love to see it. Anyway, I desperately need to escape my baby cousin's digestive tract. Who knows what'll come next? Beware the rolling green peas. Oh, baby Bobby loves green peas. It's one of his favorite snackies. And when he got blown up, all of the food he ate must've gotten blown up too. Cause that is not a normal sized pea. Bit worried about another one like coming down the ramp before I can get to safety. I'll just wait here for a second. There we go, off you go. I just have that annoying feeling that when I get home and I try to tell my mom about my day, she's not gonna believe me at all. Like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but sometimes I feel like my mom thinks that I am telling big tall tales, that I am telling porkies, but actually I am telling 100% truth. And the truth of the situation is that this daycare is run by a bunch of silly billies. Silly billies who've been blowing up my cousin into the size of a school bus, forcing me to make my way through his digestive system. But you try telling that to your mom when you get home and you just get weird looks. It's all, oh, Hall, you're so creative. Oh, Hall, you have such a great imagination. No, I don't. I've been in the wars, making my way through the small intestine and having to dodge giant frozen peas. There's nothing creative about it. It's just all about survival. But I guess that is very much a problem for later. First things first, we got to escape baby Bobby's body. Then I gotta figure out how to shrink him back down to baby size, because if my aunt sees him like this, I think she might be very scared. And then we can get out of this daycare. What is happening in this factory? Okay, there's some sort of factory inside of baby Bobby's body, making some sort of green liquid. This is entirely unexpected. Oh no, I really thought I was gonna make that jump. All right, back in the factory. Anyone got any guesses about what kind of weird green liquid is being produced inside of baby Bobby's body? Um, ooh, that looks like 
the gas trap. Am I floating upwards in a cloud of fart? <laughs> All right, that was thoroughly disgusting. Hey, use these to build. Drop celery. What kind of celery? Oh my gosh, giant celery sticks! But of course, baby Bobby's favorite snack. It's all making sense. Oh, maybe the green liquid that they had in the factory, maybe that was celery juice. They could have been juicing giant celery sticks and making juice here for some reason. I don't know that actually this makes very much sense, but that's fine. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna concentrate on building my celery bridges. Just uh oh, don't need one here. Where's the next one I need? Oh, this looks right. There we go. Oh yeah. Alright, need another celery. Weirdly, it actually does smell like celery juice in here. I thought that it was just baby Bobby's farts, but it was also probably the celery. Okay, there we go. Have we escaped baby Bobby's body? Oops, where am I supposed to go? Down in the hole. Okay, we're outside. This looks promising, we're outside. Now I just gotta find baby Bobby. Where did he go? Okay, taking bets. Do we think that he's going to be big Bobby or baby Bobby? Got this uncomfortable feeling that he's still gonna be Big Bobby. It's gotta be Baby Bobby before I can take him home. I don't want to sound like Ms. No Fun, but like I feel like there's too much lava outside of the daycare. I really feel like more of this could be grass or maybe like a forest for the kids to play in. I just think it's, I think it's too much lava. I mean, I know I sound critical, but I think it's just too much lava. Oh no! He's a bigger Bobby than ever before. What is the daycare doing to him? Look at my baby cousin. Don't worry, baby Bobby, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna shrink you back down to a normal size and I'm gonna, oh, what's this? The green bean launcher of destiny? Oh no, who's that? Oh, they're baby Bobby clones. They're multiplying. More and more of them are coming out of the building. And the only thing I have to defend myself is my green bean launcher, which is working pretty well, apparently. You don't think that throwing these green beans at the baby Bobby clones hurts the real baby Bobby, do you? Baby Bobby, please forgive me. I am doing this for you. I'm doing this for us. I will defeat these clones with my green beans. And then I don't know what my plan is after that, honestly. I just need to figure out how to get you back down to a normal size and get you home. We are leaving behind this daycare forever. There's gotta be another daycare we can go to. This is obviously not the best. It's not the best in town. I would give it a terrible review. It's a good thing that Baby Bobby can't talk yet. Hopefully he doesn't remember this whole incident. Oh my gosh, I think I defeated the clones. Once again, proving that a clone army is no match for a crunchy legume. All right, what do we got here? Take the escalator of green bean destiny. I don't know why green beans are so connected with destiny, but I love it. My destiny is to hightail it out of here and make it home in time for tacos. I hear that daycare overlords, your reign of terror is over. I never want to see that place again. Now, where is my vaguely terrifying cousin? Please be small again. Please be small again. Maybe he's over this hill. All right, let's go. Slowly. Very slowly. One eternity later. Let's go, says the floor. Yes, I've been saying that for like the last five minutes. Let's get out of here. Oh, good, a car. A weird looking car, but that's fine. It's a car. Sure, it looks like I'm sitting atop a human skull, but I'm sure I'm not. Uh, oh, okay. That's weird. Strange question, but am I driving a human head? That looks like the finish line, and this is a disaster. I didn't even bring baby Bobby with me. Where is he? And oh, okay, he's turned into a car. Seriously, where is it? I was watching YouTube on my tablet, and I put it down for like two seconds. <laughs> Are you looking for your tablet? I stole. <laughs> Come on. Try to catch me if you can. Is that kid for real? My pals, we have a bit of a situation on our hands. Now, if you're a fan of my channel, you'll know that I've had some bad luck with daycare, but this one's actually pretty good. They've got lots of great toys, giant lollipops, the staff is nice. All in all, it would be a great place to go to daycare if it wasn't for one chocolate-covered, snotty-nosed kid in a dinosaur outfit. Baby Billy thinks he can steal my tablet and get away with it. Well, it's not happening. I'm not standing for it. I'm gonna get my tablet back. If you've ever had something stolen, maybe you've got some tips for me on how to get it back. Let me know in the comment section. I still need to come up with a strategy. I don't quite know what my plan of attack here is gonna be, but obviously the first step has gotta be finding Baby Billy. He's somewhere in the daycare center, somewhere using my tablet without permission. Who knows what he's doing with my tablet? I need to find it before it's too late. 
He could be spending all my Robux. Nope. He could be ruining my YouTube algorithm by watching endless epic fail compilations. He might be sending messages to everyone in my contact list saying I have a crush on you. Hard to decide which one of these scenarios is the most terrifying. Probably best not to think about that too much. I need to concentrate my energy on finding Baby Billy. Too bad our daycare center is enormous. This is kind of the arts and crafts room, which I'm sure you can tell by the disappearing crayons. Doesn't look like he's in here, so guess I'll just try my best not to fall into the- Oh! Now, you probably didn't realize that the floor of a daycare center could be so dangerous, but actually there was a slime experiment gone wrong. It's actually quite toxic, which is why we cannot touch the floor. But it doesn't look like Baby Billy's in here, so I think we're going to have to look elsewhere. He probably just took himself off to some quiet little corner, put in my headphones. He's busy watching YouTube videos, enjoying himself. Well, enjoy yourself while you can, Baby Billy, because I am coming for you. Wonder if this is why some daycares don't allow tablets. If you go to daycare, let me know in the comment section. Are you allowed to use your devices while you're at daycare? Because maybe this is the argument against it. There's just always a chance that your tablet might get stolen by a chocolate-covered kleptomaniac in a dinosaur costume. Wow, I don't know if I've ever fully appreciated just how extensive the arts and crafts area is here at our daycare. If I can't find Baby Billy soon, I'm coming straight back here and I'm painting up some wanted posters. Plaster the neighborhood. Wanted. Dead or alive. Have you seen this chocolate-covered dinosaur? A reward is being offered for the safe return of my tablet. Okay, maybe this is the end of the arts and crafts section. Do we think that Baby Billy might be through this vent? Let's find out. I'm coming for you, Baby Billy. Oh, okay, I'm trapped. Why is there a cage in my daycare? Not really sure about the purpose of this cage room. Maybe this is where they put the naughty kids. Maybe this is where baby Billy will end up later. Thank goodness we've got these handy building blocks so I can build my way out of here. Let's see if that's enough to get me over the fence. Woohoo! Over the fence and into the vent. I am starting to get a little bit worried that I haven't found baby Billy yet. I sure hope he didn't leave the daycare center with my tablet. <gasps> Don't let me catch you. What are you talking about, catch me? I'm trying to catch you. I'm trying to catch you with my tablet. But now that you mentioned it, I don't really want you to catch me with those sticky little fingers. That kid is like a walking germ factory. He can't even wash his face. Even if I do get my tablet back, I'm going to need, like, hospital-grade disinfectant before I can even touch it. Otherwise, I'll, like, instantly get the flu. And not even, like, the regular flu, either. One of those, like, supercharged daycare flus. What am I supposed to do? He just keeps chasing me. And, okay, he appears to not be able to cross the threshold. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to get away from those sticky fingers while I figure out what to do next. I've found Baby Billy, but how am I supposed to get that tablet back? He didn't even seem to be carrying it, which means that he stashed it somewhere in the daycare. Extra annoying because that means he's not even using it. And honestly, I feel like this all could have been avoided if he just asked to share it in the first place. Like, he could have just watched over my shoulder or something. We could have avoided this whole palava. Although I do love an excuse to use the bouncy balloon staircase. So I believe I will search for my tablet upstairs. I wonder where he could have stashed it. He would have put it somewhere where he thinks that I'm not going to look for it. Maybe he put it in the refrigerator. Or the center of the earth. Or another dimension. Anything is possible, really, with Baby Billy, a master criminal in training. Don't be fooled by the fact that he is, like, four years old. He is extremely dangerous and must be taken seriously. Hmm, that's weird. I don't remember this part of the daycare having so many rotating table saws. In fact, now that I think about it, I don't remember there being any rotating table saws at all. This must be the work of Baby Billy. That's a good sign, actually. I feel like that means that we're getting close. He's put up defenses to try to discourage us from looking in this area, but that just might mean that the tablet is nearby. Uh, climb up these scissors and jump over these Play-Dohs to see if I can find it. Ooh, and paper airplane. That's pretty cool. On to the next stage of the great tablet search. We're entering this glowing green hallway. What is going on here? And oh my gosh, what is going on there? So Billy looks different. He looks taller, uh, maybe like 10 times taller. I really have no idea why that happened. And given the fact that this is Roblox, I'm not sure that we'll ever get a satisfactory explanation, but let's continue. We'll try to retrieve my stolen tablet first and then we can focus on the issue of how baby Billy got humongified. Oh, good, a down arrow. I'm pretty sure this does lead us to the center of the earth. So that was one of the places that I wanted to check anyway. So let's have a look if, oh, 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 oops. Oh, that was close. All right, I don't know if we made it to the center of the earth, but we're definitely in like the basement of the daycare center where they keep all of the giant numbers. <laughs> My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. That was ouchie, let's try again. 
I only had a quick look around, but I didn't see much in the way of stolen merchandise. Keep your eyes peeled. Is there anything around here that could have been stolen? It's not like I do a lot of thievery, but if I was trying to hide some stolen items, I think the basement would probably be one of the first places I would go. So if you see anything unusual, you let me know in the what, okay, what, what, what's up with the red stuff. I don't remember this being in the basement. That's a bit scary. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay on the giant letters. I don't wanna touch whatever that stuff is. Starting to feel a little bit more sinister here in the basement. And no sign of Baby Billy and no sign of my tablet. Only these giant goldfish crackers descending from the ceiling. Which does, of course, remind me that I'm missing snack time. So add that to my list of grievances, Baby Billy. Oh no, and all the extra Play-Dohs down here. I sure hope that this red goo didn't ruin it. It's not gonna be fun for the kids if we don't have a Play-Doh for everyone. Oh no, and all the crayons too. Hey, maybe all these things are stolen. Maybe Baby Billy stole all that Play-Doh and stole all of these crayons and hid them all in the basement. Maybe my tablet is down here. Hmm, okay, gonna have to keep searching. Interesting to see that we've got some lasers. Wonder if that means that Baby Billy's installed these lasers to keep us away from all of his stolen merchandise. Like, I could be wrong, obviously, but I don't think the daycare is out here installing lasers in the basement. I think that these were installed by Baby Billy to protect his ill-gotten gains. Probably the daycare staff hasn't been down here in years. They might not even know that, look, all of these marker pens. Oh, I remember when the marker pens went missing. We looked everywhere. The kids were so sad. Oh my gosh, and the spare bouncy balloons. It's all starting to come together. He has stolen half the daycare. Not quite sure why he's stealing these things, but then sometimes people steal for no reason. It's, it's really hard to know. Hey, you're not getting that iPad back. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I have discovered your secret. You've stolen half the stuff in this daycare and hidden it in the basement. And if you don't give me my tablet back, I'm gonna tell everyone. So let's just sit down and have a reasonable conversation. Ooh. Are you for real right now? Already, I appear to have been slapped into oblivion by Sticky Fingers McGee. I was willing to have a reasonable conversation, but apparently there is no negotiating with terrorists. Don't you be thinking I'm giving up. I'm gonna get my tablet back. Billy? Guess I should probably run, though. I don't want to get slapped again. He's got that crazy slapping look in his eye. Do need somewhere to hide, though. Hmm, not my first choice, but I guess the sewer is as good a place as any. Oh my gosh, somebody's been flushing giant rubber duckies. That's not good. And break the toilet that way. And okay, um, what's this water slide? Because you see, I'm a bit concerned as it's yellow and we are in a sewer, so I'm kind of wondering what the water slide is made of. Maybe, maybe I actually don't want to know. Maybe I don't need to know. It is pretty hard to ignore the smell, but I should probably just try to take my mind off it because we're on this ride now and there's nothing we can do about it. Are we heading towards a shark? And okay, we avoided the shark. Didn't know there were gonna be sharks down here in the sewer, but really anything that takes my mind off of the water slide for even a moment is probably a good thing. Let's just try to get through this as quickly as we can. <gasps> Thank God. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I'll never get my tablet back. Do I just cut my losses and start saving up for a new one? Feels pretty unfair, but I just don't know where else to look. You actually made it outside. But if you want your tablet back, you're gonna have to fight me. Who to the death? Oh my gosh, incredible. I didn't know that we could just solve this whole thing with a fight to the death. I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously a fight to the death is not a great way to solve conflicts, but on the other hand, I might get my tablet back and never have to worry about Billy stealing my stuff again. So that's kind of a win. Let this be a lesson, Billy. Fine, you can have it back. Wah. Slay. This is Mr. Smiley. Mr. Smiley runs a daycare, and I have some serious questions about who granted Mr. Smiley a daycare license. Okay, so like, quick proposal to the other kids of this daycare. Should we escape, like, immediately? Mr. Smiley, clearly not human. His face, deeply unsettling. I, for one, will be seeking the comfort of the vent. Whoa, do you think this art was left on the wall by a former daycare kid? Mr. Smiley's rules. Run. All right? That's a bit worrying. I don't know, I just feel like my parents maybe need to do a little bit more research before they send me to these daycare centers because I keep ending up at like the weirdest places. Like this is way too much toxic waste to have at a daycare center. Like I don't wanna tell Mr. Smiley how to do his job here, but I really feel like there should be more play areas, maybe some like nap areas, some outdoor play areas, much, much less toxic waste. 
And besides the toxic waste, I feel like we've got a few problems with Mr. Smiley himself. Just the fact that there was that drawing on the wall of Mr. Smiley, like somebody had to go through a lot of effort to leave that warning sign there for me and the other daycare kids. They wanted us to know that when Mr. Smiley comes around, you better run. Obviously, I was already getting pretty bad vibes from Mr. Smiley, so I had my suspicions. But the fact that somebody went through all of that trouble to leave a warning, I really think that we should heed the warning. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that I should heed the warning. Oh look, a friend and ally. Hi, are you also terrified of Mr. Smiley? I know, it's hard to place. It's something about the vacant look in his eye. Maybe the fact that he is literally always smiling. Like, what you smiling about, Mr. Smiley? I've got questions. Oh, whoa, what's happening in here? This might be our way to escape. Oh yeah, this looks like an escape. Oh, that's not an escape. That's a death trap. It's almost as if Mr. Smiley doesn't want us to leave. Oh my gosh, he thinks he can trap us in here forever. Well, I'm gonna show him who's boss when I do escape. Oh my gosh, more toxic waste? You have got to be kidding me. <gasps> Lots of daycare kids in here though. I'm glad that we've all got the same idea. Everyone's like, like, literally, let's get out of here. Here's what I'm thinking though. I think that me and all of the other daycare kids need to band together when we talk to our parents. Because if one of us goes and tries to tell our parents like, yeah, Mr. Smiley, he's so scary. Or the whole daycare, it's full of toxic waste. I feel like they're just gonna think that we're telling porkies. And as you can see, these are no porkies. This is 100% facts. Like this toxic waste is everywhere. You actually can't go anywhere in this daycare without being at risk of falling into a giant Olympic sized pool of toxic waste at any time. It's irresponsible, frankly. What about the little kids? Like I am very agile. I'm doing lots of jumping. See all of my friends here, they're also very agile. They're doing excellent jumping. But what about the babies? I need to talk to the manager and don't you dare say it's Mr. Smiley. Oh no, more significant art. You have to help me decipher it. Babies, bad. What could it mean? What's up with the down arrows? Is Mr. Smiley dropping the babies? Speak of the devil. Okay, look, listen, I've got some questions about how you run your daycare. Oh my gosh, I hate his face. There's no soul behind those eyes. Okay, no further questions. I'm getting out of here. Uh oh, babies. But Mr. Smiley hates babies. I must save the babies. The art, it's literal. All right, I think I've cracked it. I just don't understand why Mr. Smiley would start a daycare service when he obviously hates babies. Look, he's about to chase me again. Oh, yep, here he comes. Absolutely full of rage just because I want to save the babies. Come with me, babies. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, no. Shocking to me that anyone could think these babies are bad. They're so weird and cute. I love them. Why do you hate them? I'm gonna put some obstacles in his way. If I can push this in the way. Yeah, push that over the side. Yeah, there we go, that'll slow him down. Okay, I wanna save at least one baby. Okay, I got one. Let's go. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, he's still chasing me. Oh no, I lost my baby. My baby. Oh, oh, where am I now? And how did I fall through the roof? That was weird, but look, we've got a ball pit. That's much more daycare-like. And then, oh, pipes. Okay, that's less daycare-like. This is kind of giving construction site more than daycare. Actually, so disappointed in myself that I didn't manage to save a single baby. I'm gonna have to find a way to get back up there, or at the very least, I'm gonna have to tell somebody about what is going on in Mr. Smiley's daycare. I'm breaking down your wall of silence, Mr. Smiley. I am speaking truth to power. But first, I need to find my way across this giant pool of bubbling red... What, what is that down there? I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it's probably bubbling raspberry jam. Yeah, Mr. Smiley, in addition to being a really, really poor proprietor of a daycare in which he hates all of the babies, um, he also is a jam enthusiast. Like, you would never know just by looking at him, but he absolutely slays down at the county fair. In fact, I would go so far as to say maybe he should just give up the whole daycare business entirely and just focus on his jams. Clearly, his one true passion in life. I mean that, and also filling his daycare with truly insane obstacle courses for children. Like this is a death trap. Look at this thing. Why are there so many spikes? A truly monumental amount of effort went into this. <sighs> just for that to happen, just to make my life difficult. No thank you, I'm not skipping to the next checkpoint. I have a point to prove. It's Holly versus Mr. Smiley, the final showdown. If you wanna be on my team and support me, you can really stick it to Mr. Smiley by making sure you're subscribed to my channel. He hates that. He hates it when anyone's more popular than him. I just cannot get over how unhinged this room is. Like Mr. Smiley was really doing the most when he designed this place. He was like swinging spike balls. I need more of them. 
a floor? Oh, no floor, thanks. Just more rotating spiky spikes. Oh, wow, I only just noticed that there's like a little progress bar at the top here, and it looks like I am almost halfway through. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Don't take your eyes off the prize for a second. <laughs> But yeah, we got a little progress bar and I'm clearly in the lead, although I do notice that a very cute looking cat appears to be catching up with me pretty quickly, so that's kind of exciting. If I do end up slowing down, it might mean that I just end up with a cat buddy. Don't hate that one bit. I think I've almost made it out of the room of insanity. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> crushed. I see my destination. I see freedom. Freedom does look like it's surrounded by lasers though, but that's a, that's a problem for when I get there. First things first. Try to get around this whole spiky ball debacle and then then we can get to the lasers. Okay, checkpoint, we love. And then, oh, actually this isn't so bad. I can hop over these. No problem at all. <gasps> Uh-oh, I see Mr. Smiley over there though. I guess it's time for a confrontation. More ominous art. Okay, I think I'm trying to get Mr. Smiley off the platform. If I can get him to fall off the platform and into the raspberry jam, then I can save these babies. Do I have a plan? Okay, nope, don't have a plan. He's already chasing me and there's so many babies. What am I supposed to do? Okay, two babies and I'm already, already gone. Good. No, I'm not skipping. I've got to save the puppies. How am I supposed to get him to fall over the edge though? Maybe if I can like lead him over to the edge and then like rush out of the way. I wonder if that would work. Or do I, am I just supposed to run around him? Oh my gosh, he's very fast. He is so fast. Okay, come on babies, come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, I saved a baby. A baby attached themselves to my backpack like a marsupial. I'm like, I'm, oh no, my baby. Oh no, I dropped a baby into the jam. This is a disaster. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh wait, is that my cat friend? <gasps> no way. It's Kate the cat. No way, they are so cute. Let's go, Kate. Together we can defeat Mr. Smiley. To the red button. That seems to be the way forward. Is it gonna be an elevator heading up to the, oh no, we're going down to, what on earth is this? Kinda feels like we're descending into Mr. Smiley's subconscious. It looks terrifying. I genuinely feel like Mr. Smiley is in the wrong job. He really should not be in the daycare business. Maybe he should be in the movie business. This looks like incredible for like a, like a set for a psychological thriller, perhaps? I think I got to invite Mr. Smiley to reconsider some options. Like, sure, I'm just one of your daycare kids, but I've also got some opinions on career counseling, apparently. Oop, and into the tar or possibly blackcurrant jam. I'm looking at this room like, what is my goal here? Am I trying to get over there to Mr. Smiley's like creepy, massive black and white mouth? Like, I don't think that anything good happens in there. <laughs> I just don't think that I'm gonna be able to relax until I like escape this underground lair situation. I need to see the sun. I need to touch grass and I need to check in on the other daycare kids. And then we really need to check in on those babies. Like, I don't mean to be a bummer here, but I did accidentally drop a baby off of a ledge. Not my finest moment. Feel like I'm trying to get over onto that conveyor belt, but I am noticing <laughs> quite a lot of wrecking balls swinging from the ceiling. So, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, there we go, got it. Um, yeah, there's too many wrecking balls for me to be able to relax, but I've come this far and we've got no choice. So on we press, I guess. Skip to, oh no, I don't want to skip. No, sorry, cancel that. I only skip to the next checkpoint if there's like absolutely no way for me to, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh no, oh my gosh, it hit me midair. <laughs> These wrecking balls are no joke. It's really hard to see where they're coming from. I'm gonna try my best. Oh my gosh. This is, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm just flying blind here. Just trying my best. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh good, oh yay. Now we're entering Mr. Smiley's mouth. This is exactly what I wanted. Please lead to the surface. Please lead to the surface. I'm falling down a hole. That is 100% the opposite of the surface. Oh my gosh, where am I now? No! Why would you take me here, Mr. Smiley? Oh my gosh, he's right there. What did I ever do to you? I'm just a child. Just gonna stand there, huh? Just gonna stand there. Oh wow, I just realized I'm at the end of the progress bar. This might be my last standoff with Mr. Smiley. I need to try my best to escape quickly because I think he is, yeah, he's already right behind me <laughs> and he's freakishly fast. Okay, oh my gosh, he's way too fast. He's way too fast. How am I supposed to, oh my gosh. And again, 
What is his game plan here? Like, do you want kids to return to your daycare? What did I ever do to you? Mr. Smiley's motivations remain unclear. It's possible that he just loves to chase children. This whole daycare operation might just be a setup to allow him to chase children with his freaky green nails. But here we go. Looks like I've escaped him once again. He's too tall to get through the bars. So he's just standing there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Is this going to take me to freedom? I certainly hope so. I really want to see my parents. Oh, <gasps> that looks like the outside. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh my gosh, fireworks. Okay, unexpected, but I made it. Where are my parents? Where's an adult? I really need to talk to an adult. I'm trapped in baby jail with not one single toy to amuse me. Unacceptable, I say. Let's try this. <gasps> the gates, they open. I hope Betty, the daycare worker, doesn't notice that I'm trying to bust out of here. Oh no, she's not noticing a thing. She's on the phone again. Chatty chat, 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 never playing with the kids. Look at like right in front of her and she doesn't even notice. But will she notice when I disappear out this door? Uh, or out this vent? Wow, if I had stayed in baby jail, then my day would be dragging slow, slow, slow like the slowest slot. But instead, I'm having an adventure in the vents. What in the Betty's daycare is this? Why would a daycare need such an intense looking mechanical room? What exactly is going on in here? This looks like something I would expect to find in like a factory or maybe on like a big cruise ship, but certainly not at Ms. Betty's nursery and daycare services. Unless Betty's doing something other than looking after babies. Is she involved in the manufacturing industry secretly? Anything is possible in Roblox world. Let's enter this vent and try to find out. I get a lot of comments being like, girl, why do you like vents so much? Uh, because they represent safety and transport me to the next stage. Uh-oh, we're back in the nursery. This is not good. Oh, oh no, there's Betty. I can probably sneak around her and oh no, she's actually seen me. Why does she have to be paying attention now? What happened to benign negligence? Look, she hasn't even got off the phone. She's like, Carol, go make yourself a cup of tea. I gotta deal with some kitties. But hark, yonder, this button, it calls. It wants to be pressed and what will happen when I press it and... Oh, oh, what's gonna happen? I thought maybe a door would drop down and she would stop chasing me, but oh no, she's right behind me. Can I go through this door? And... Oh, did it. Now I'm safe, as long as Betty doesn't figure out how to open a door. Hmm, looks like we are being invited to participate in an engineering challenge. Guess that means it's time to be a woman in STEM. Don't mind me as I build this feat of engineering. Do I just need one to climb up on? All right, feels promising. Yeah, there we go. Success. I am just going from strength to strength, and this day is not nearly as boring as I thought it was going to be. I've escaped baby jail. I've evaded Betty the daycare worker. I've even built towering structures that would impress even the ancient Egyptians. Probably. It's an architectural feat. It's a modern wonder. It's leading to the vent. Here's my question for you, my pals. I want to know in the comment section, what are your best and worst daycare memories? I think my best one is when it was really, really rainy and so we got to stay inside and lie on the floor and watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in a big puddle of people. So cozy, so happy, core memory. This daycare center is huge and I do not understand what the purpose of most of these rooms are. I'm kind of starting to think that maybe Betty bought a warehouse, didn't actually expect that she would end up in the daycare business and hasn't done a full conversion because I'm like, what, like, what is this place? Are we preparing to ship product? Does Betty have a side hustle where she sells those giant blocks? Maybe that's why she's on the phone all the time. She's taking orders. She's doing customer service. She's like, I am a busy business woman. But I see your business woman ship, Betty, and I raise you a bored kid at daycare. I have no choice but to explore this warehouse. I must search every nook and cranny in search of something interesting. Ooh, lasers. But not just any laser. These lasers are made of a powerful electricity. Maybe this is why Betty had that intense mechanical room. She needed all that equipment to help power these bars of electricity or oh warning huh i just pressed it anyway okay i'm pretty sure i heard a swinging gate but i don't know i kind of thought for like a button marked warning something a bit more dramatic might happen i'm not saying that i hoped the whole building would explode i'm just saying that it would have been quite exciting if the whole building were to explode but it appears to have just opened the gate which is useful but not very exciting but that's all right the day is young who knows what will be around the next Corner. Oh yeah, there we go. That's more exciting. The roof. She caved. Uh-oh, is that Betty? Do you think she's gonna believe me that I had nothing to do with the- Hey, what happened? Who turned off the lights? Oh, 
I must have fallen in the water. Do you think that Betty's gonna believe me that I had nothing to do with the whole roof caving in situation? Or do you think I'm gonna be held responsible? <gasps> oh no, it's not Betty at all. It's Ben the janitor. Ben, my guy, I had nothing to do with the roof, I swear. I opened the door and it was just like that. You have to believe me. And okay, I don't think he's believing me. So might just, yeah, might just try this. Uh oh, he's getting one too. He's propelling himself into battle with flatulence. Why, Ben, why? Oh, wow. My dude, those clouds, they're not normal. You really need to, oh my gosh, now he's just writhing on the floor. Okay, and the doors open. A dramatic entrance and exit by Ben the janitor. Who is he? How does he fit into this whole picture? I have no idea. Put the correct letters on a pin board. Well, sure thing, I can do that. I love a silly little task and I love a challenge. Is this the pin board? Does my B stick to the B? Stick it up, it doesn't seem to stick. Uh, okay, maybe that's not the right place. I am not going to be defeated by three letters. I know my ABCs. That's an A and uh, oh, here, I've got a B. Oh yeah, I can go up there. Perfect. And then where's my C at? Go, got my C. Got my C up on this bulletin board. Yeah, I can match letters. I'm very literate. Very smart girl. It's not like just anyone can become a Roblox YouTuber. I've got some thoughts going on in this brain box. Okay, now that I've demonstrated my excellent literacy, I guess I will head into here. Well, what do you know? Another vent. Well, I know how I can get to that vent by climbing around the outside of the room. <laughs> I wonder why they put these ledges all the way around the side of the room. Oh, it would be really cool if you had cats and then they could go on a little adventure. I am like a cat on a little adventure. A little unicorn kitty cat going back into the vent. Wow, it's actually kind of a blessing that Betty left me in baby jail with absolutely nothing to amuse me. Because otherwise, I never would have gone on this adventure. There she is. She is probably not going to be happy with me. Oh, yep. No, she's not happy at all. She has to get off the phone with Carol. She's like, go get yourself another wagon wheel, Carol, while I lock up this child. <gasps> oh, <sighs> scary. I will not give up that easily. I will not be returning to baby jail. I just need to press this button. Just got to press the button and hopefully it'll open this door. Didn't open the door. Okay, what did it open? Did it open anything? I don't understand where I'm supposed to be going and now I feel like I'm getting trapped and oh yeah, she's definitely coming for me. Where am I supposed to go? Ah! I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, third time's charm and she's not gonna get me this time. I realize there is actually a staircase and maybe I should be heading up this way. So let's see if the button pressing did anything. Maybe it unlocked this door and that door is still broken, but oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Into the vent, into the vent. <gasps> yes, safety achieved. But the... The chase music's still happening. Does that mean I'm still in danger? I might just stay up here <laughs> on the safety of the ledge. <laughs> Whoa, where is she? Okay, let's see. Oh no, oh no, why isn't it open? Oh, <gasps> the button. Do I really have to do the button again? Okay, pressy, pressy, pressy. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh no, there she is. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, I gotta lure her over here and then I gotta get around. Oh my gosh, the chase is on. I can't even look behind me until I'm in the vent. Okay, now I just need to make sure I do not fall. Oh my gosh, this is so tense. I can't wait to be in the vent. <gasps> there we go, sweet relief. The music stops, all is calm, all is peaceful in the vent. Bit of double vent action. Where are we going here? Oh, I love it when I get to kick them off. A boom, a boom, boom. Yeah. It feels good. Okay, back in the part of the daycare that looks like a manufacturing hub. Why do you need a steam engine? There's my question. Can't believe this is the first time that I'm seeing part of this daycare. It's like Miss Betty didn't even have to give me any toys to play with today. She could have just given me permission to explore the entire daycare and apparently that would have taken all day because it is unnaturally large. For no apparent reason. What happens here? Oh my gosh, the steam is... Wow, that was pretty cool. I didn't realize that the steam could be powerful enough to propel me over obstacles. I definitely prefer the steam that can propel me over obstacles to Janitor Ben's noxious fumes that propel him across the battle arena. I guess I'm saying if you're gonna harness the power of vapor, I don't want it to stink if possible. Wonder how mad Betty's gonna get when she realizes that I've been poking around in the mechanical room. Pressing buttons. I don't think there's a single button I haven't pressed. Ooh, did I just turn this on? Yeah! <laughs> Dang, it feels good to press a button. 
Could it be the next step is to go through yet another vent? I love it. I love it. Oh, how am I supposed to get up this bit, though? I thought that I did a giant leap. Nope. Okay, not giant enough. What's the what's the go here? What's the strategy? Oh, just doing even bigger leaps, I guess. Yeah, I knew that all along. I didn't doubt myself. Uh, I was just stretching, you know, warming up, doing a few practice leaps. I'm the leapiest girl in town. They call me old Frog Legs. Frog Legs McGee, that's me. Now, which part of the cavernous daycare will we end up in now? Oh yeah, still the still the weird warehouse part. Got it. Oh good, that just means it's time for another engineering feat. Women in STEM. Building bridges with metal planks. Ba boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 it's going to the wood. Please don't tell the other women in STEM that I have accidentally dropped the metal planks. Luckily, there's more where that came from. And maybe we just gotta, we need a little side bridge action. There we go. Oh, that feels good. That's the good stuff. We're learning from our mistakes. We're picking up more planks. We're making it happen. Just gotta get over here to make it happen. Um, uh, just one more, one more bridge. And that should probably do it. I think we've made our way. Oh no, maybe one more bridge. Unless I'll be <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Please don't reset my bridges. Oh, it looks like my bridges are still there. That's a win. That means I just need one more to make a full crossing. Not gonna fall in the void this time. Yeah, I'm not gonna leap. I'm just gonna pop my pop my plank down. There we go. I've done it. That was some good planking. I can build towers and bridges. Might pop both of those on my resume. Oh, I've gotten blown. Oh no, I've disappeared into the void. And okay, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, maybe a leap? Oh yeah, that's the secret. More leaping. I should have known. Gotta get my leap on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I thought that was gonna hurt my legs for a second. But saved by the steam, apparently. Wow, this is hackers. And this way up. Where are we going to now? It's probably almost daycare pickup time and mom and dad are gonna be worried if I'm not there. And Betty is probably going to tell them that I've been very, very bad today. Lies, just been amusing myself. If anything, I'm just making her job easier, you know? One less kid to look after. <gasps> oh, milk vending machine. Haven't seen that before. Maybe I do want a bottle. Nice little bottle of milk. Hmm, yum, mm, taste that. Okay, it's sweeter than I thought it would be. Whoa, and it makes me a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, was that actually milk or was that some sort of Powerade or I don't even know what has this kind of effect. This has never happened to me before. I'm, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. I'm moving so fast. There's no vapor coming out behind me, is there? Because that would be so embarrassing. And oh my gosh, it came out the front. The absolute humiliation of having a visible burp. I genuinely don't know what to do with myself. Oh, where are we going? The exit. Maybe it is time for daycare pickup and oh my gosh. Okay, yep, things have escalated. Okay, so first I'd like to apologize for interrupting your phone call with Carol and okay, she's doing a little dance. Okay, obviously I am going to try to hit you with the Punisher, but I need to assure you it has nothing to do with your dance skills, which are actually surprisingly on point. But I do like that my weapon is called the Punisher and it also seems to shoot something that looks like muffins. I think they might be like carrot muffins. So, you know, is that a punishment or is that a delicious and nutritious snack? Um, I don't know. I guess we gotta ask Betty. Oh, uh oh. Oh, she's exploding. Oh, she's definitely exploding. Oh, she's gone. All right, so I feel like I might have dealt out a bit of a harsh punishment, but I wasn't given a lot of options. And oh, there's mom! I love it when she picks me up in her bright pink monster truck. Look at the size of those wheels. Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. And oh my gosh, she's even gonna let me drive. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go. Look, unless it comes up, I'm probably just not gonna mention to mom what happened today at Betty's nursery. She doesn't need to know. There's there's no way she's gonna know. And uh oh. All right, I'm busted. Betty, this is a daycare, not a prison. Please be reasonable. Don't answer the phone. <gasps> Don't you walk away from me. Am I a joke to you? You just lock the gate and leave me here to rot? You're just gonna walk out the door? She's walked out the door. Okay, cool. Well, I don't know about you, but I am not putting up with this. What phone call could possibly be more important than looking after me, the children? She better not lock the door. Oh my gosh, she locked the door. Not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do trapped in this room all day. The window appears to be locked. I guess I can play in the ball pit. Definitely needs more balls. This will probably do it. Or not. What just happened? Is there a trap door under the ball pit? Looks like I'm not the first person to fall down this trap door. What is this place? Um, 
starting to think that Betty might be doing a little bit more than running a daycare. Based on the fact that running a daycare usually does not involve an underground lair, nor a river of lava. I do have to hand it to her about the trapdoor though, that was pretty cool. If you are also sat there wishing that your daycare had some sort of trapdoor situation, give this video a thumbs up while I explore the rest of the daycare cave. I'm like worried about the number of bones that I'm discovering. Although alternate theory, what if this is actually just the staff break room? You know, Betty gets sick of looking after all the kids, she locks the gate, she yeets herself into the basement for a bit of peace and quiet with her lava flow. Wonder if this is the way out. Is this how we get back into the like daycare main? Oh, this looks promising. See, this is all I needed. I just wanted to hang out in this room. I just don't like being trapped inside of a baby gate. Like, yeah, I can follow the school rules. Probably, except I possibly already entered the faculty and I'm constantly breaking the fourth wall. Also, Betty, you're kind of breaking the rules right now. You appear to be running all over the place. And okay, now she's mad. I didn't mean to correct you. Obviously, you make the rules. You said there's no running. You're running. We're all running. Also, those are some really big, colorful footprints on the ground there. Like, that is definitely not me. For starters, I am wearing shoes. They do seem to be leading up this ladder, which is kind of helpful, though. So maybe I'll just hide up here. There's no way that she's... Oh my gosh, she is confused about where I have gone. I'm starting to think that Betty might not be the sharpest tool in the shed. Like the first clue was probably the locking the children in a room instead of looking after them. That's not super smart, probably a fire hazard. Also, it's like the second I was out of her eyeline, it was like I disappeared completely. I don't think that Betty has object permanence. She's like a little baby. I went above her and now she thinks that I'm gone and I am gone because I'm going in the bank. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, cool space-themed room. I've never been in here before. Why aren't we allowed to play in this room? Betty's been holding out on us this whole time. She has a secret lair. She's got a space room. What other secrets are in this daycare that I don't know anything about? Obviously, I would love to stay and hang out in the space room, but I think that Betty is hiding something from me, and I'm gonna find out what it is. If you want to help me feel better about my extremely brief trip to the space room, you can let me know your favorite planet in the comment section. I think that mine might be Saturn, because those rings are just, like, impossibly glam. Or, like, June Jupiter, because it's got that like big red spot. It's like a big old eye just looking at you. Anyway, cannot get caught up on the space of it all. I need to concentrate on the mystery at hand. What exactly is Betty doing in this daycare that is more important than looking after the children? Who is she on the phone to? What's with the secret lair? Is it just an extremely unusual break room or is it something more sinister? Because here's the thing, I did overhear a conversation that Betty was having and it sounded like the daycare might be in some financial difficulties. I mean, for starters, I do appear to be the only kid at the daycare, so that's not great. Like, I don't know how Betty expects to run this daycare if she's only got one child attending, but also she did, like, lock me in a room, so I don't know. She's not exactly the best at her job, is she? That's all right. I'm not even sure she's noticed that I'm gone, so I've kind of got, like, free reign to explore the daycare and try to figure out what is actually going on in here. So really, I guess I might as well enjoy it. Just free reign of the vents. Just me and the vents. Do kind of wish I had a map for the vents. Like, I don't actually know where I'm gonna end up next. Oh my gosh. Betty's not gonna be happy when she finds out that I've been crashing through the vents again. This room looks way cooler than the room she locked me in. Why couldn't she have just left me in here? Look, I've even got a little activity to do. Little matchy shapes. That's a bit fun. And okay, there's someone, there's someone in there. Um, buds? I think I might have discovered Betty's secret. I believe her secret is a bionic teddy bear. Is that a handbag? Okay, possibly not a handbag and more of just a robotic arm. What did Betty do to you? Oh my gosh, they're just walking around screaming. Probably none of my business what's happening with Bionic Teddy Bear. I might just get back to my shapes. Yeah, just gonna match the shapes. Nice blue circle in a blue circle. That feels real relaxing. No thoughts for me, thanks. Just match the green triangle with the green triangle. That feels good. Until the gate starts to open and there's nothing separating me from Bionic Teddy Bear. What exactly am I supposed to do about the screaming? Hello, hi, perhaps we can work together. I am also at war with your mother, Betty, your creator. Oh my gosh, <laughs> their name's Hugbot3000. That's actually kind of sick. Here's the thing though, I don't believe that Hugbot was built for hugs. I believe that Hugbot was built for crime. The like laser arm is really not like helping your case. I am quite convinced that Betty was planning on using Hugbot for a crime spree. Like if you build a teddy bear for hugs, I just don't believe that it really needs the laser arm. She is not gonna be happy with me when she sees what I have done to Hugbot. Oh, that's gonna take a long time to repair and there's actually nothing to repair. It's completely disappeared. But on the upside, I think I can actually leave the daycare. This is amazing. Outside. It's beautiful.
beautiful. I've forgotten how wonderful the outside is. What do I want to do? I guess I could dig a shovel. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should dig. I've been cooped up inside with nothing to do all day. I'm going to dig my little heart out. Just dig and dig and dig. And who knows? I might get to the center of the earth. I might get back into that secret lair. And okay, uh, no, seems like secret lair. Don't know why she went for the giant skull decorations. Very Halloween-y though. So perhaps she just hasn't taken down her decorations yet. Didn't realize we were going to get another underground lair situation under the backyard sandbox. I'm starting to wonder if maybe Betty is planning on getting into the prison industry. Maybe daycares are just not profitable enough. And like every other character in Roblox, maybe she just really wants to get into imprisoning. She's branching out. She's building a dungeon. She's practicing by locking me in a baby cage. Unfortunate, obviously, that she doesn't realize that I am an excellent prison breaker. Literally, they have not built a prison in Roblox yet that can hold me. So obviously, I'm going to get out of here. Hmm. Do a little bit of chopping. Yeah, I'll just test out everything that she's got down here in the dungeon. Looks like we've got some sort of minecart situation. I think I might try it out. Maybe this is how she's planning on getting around when she's the prison warden of her new dungeon. Oof, that was close. I nearly hit my head. Gotta be careful in this minecart. Apparently, she hasn't worked out all of the safety safety concerns yet. Oh, there's another one. Got a duck. Wow, she really has to do something about that. You're just minding your own business, riding around in your minecart, and then, oh yeah, you're about to get hit in the face. Dang, you can tell that one really hurt. I gotta watch my face this time. This is so typical. Like, I turn up for, like, a nice normal day at daycare, and I end up testing out someone's dungeon situation and getting smacked in the face. I think I gotta go find Betty so I can give her the full report on the dungeon. I wanted to know that I have sympathy for her situation. You know, she's trying to branch out, make a bit more cash. She doesn't know if she wants to go the dungeon prison route or if she wants to do a crime spree with a bionic teddy bear. She's exploring lots of different kinds of options. That was a close one. I think she just needs to think about the safety a little bit more. Like, this is not a good place for kids. I kind of feel like she should just give up on the daycare entirely and move directly into the dungeon business. Like, obviously, this is where her passion is. She doesn't want to look after children. She wants to lock people up and decorate the place with lots of bones. All right, I think I've seen enough. I need to go find Betty and have a little conversation with her about the direction that she's heading with this daycare. So let's find Betty. We'll have a little heart to heart, a little tete a tete. We can do a little bit of career counseling. What am I supposed to be doing in this room? There's lots of boxes, but how am I supposed to use them to get out? Usually there would be some sort of like trap door situation in the ceiling, but I don't know what I'm meant to do. That's all right. I'll just move these aside and oh, okay. Button. Button seems promising. Let's see what this does. Okay, just open the door. That was extremely anticlimactic. Anyone else still really confused about these footsteps? Like, is that Betty? Why is she walking around barefoot? It's weird. Oh my gosh, where did she come from? Betty, this is a vent. I am in the safety of the vent. This is basically a sacred space. Wow, I did not realize that she was gonna be able to follow me in here and she's still following me. The like silent and determined way that she is pursuing me kind of has me worried that she's discovered what I did to Hugbot. Obviously that was self-defense. I didn't show up today expecting to have to fight a robotic teddy bear. That's just something that was pressed upon me. I'm just out here trying to make the best of a bad situation, you know? I'm just a simple gal, you know? I don't like to be locked at a baby gate. I do like to uncover mysteries, and I sometimes like to give dungeon feedback. Just little stuff, you know, like ease up on the bones, maybe watch out for the smacky-facey wooden planks. When Betty succeeds, we all succeed, probably. I feel like she could still make this the best daycare and or dungeon prison yet. All she needs is a little bit of guidance, and I am just the over-opinionated daycare client to give it. Unless, of course, I fall. I think I might try to go in with something of like a compliment sandwich. Obviously, I want to give credit where credit is due, and I really, really liked the trap door situation. Trap door in the ball pit, 10 out of 10. Like, that could be a daycare feature. It could possibly even be a dungeon feature. Maybe we get rid of some of the bones and put more balls in the dungeon. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. So yeah, I'll do a compliment sandwich. I'm like, love the trapdoor situation in the ball pit. 10 out of 10. Feel like there are some safety concerns, but also love your use of dramatic lighting in the dungeon. 
really sets the mood. Extremely spooky. Love what you've done there. Obviously, for me to actually deliver any of this feedback, I'm gonna need to find Betty, and I don't understand why she has left me unsupervised for so long. Like, I am the only client at this daycare. I have not seen a single other child in the entire time I've been here. I've seen more bones than other kids. Like, I genuinely don't understand what she's doing up there. Like, is she building another bionic teddy bear or something? To be fair, that's probably exactly what she's doing. She's probably up there trying to repair the remains of Hugbot. Maybe I was wrong about the crime spree. Maybe Betty actually did build the Hugbot 3000 just for hugs, and now she's up there doing frantic repairs, trying to get herself a cuddle. I guess we'll find out soon. Betty? You, you in here? Like, why is there a gate here? I don't understand. She just loves gates. Okay, this looks better. Okay, Betty. Okay, she's not at the desk, and there's these footprints leading outside, and, um, what's that? All right, I think I might have discovered what Betty has been working on. She started with the teddy bear, but then she turned herself into a robot. Oh no, it still says Hugbot. <laughs> oh no, Betty's mech suit. Oh yeah, that's for doing crime. There is no way that you build yourself a mech suit like this if you are not up to something nefarious. Couple more snowballs and we should be in business. Oh my gosh, that is extremely dramatic. Betty, you gonna be okay up there? Nope, she just completely blew up. All right, I guess that's another day done at the daycare. No time to give feedback because Betty exploded. Not 100% sure what I'm going to tell my parents when they ask how daycare was today, but that's a problem for later. I'm just happy to get out of there with all my limbs. I'm not driving after the day I've had. Let the ghosts look after it. Oh yeah, ghost bus. <laughs>